So today I'm talking to Izzy Von Brakel. Is that how you pronounce it, Izzy? Yeah, Van Brakel, yeah. Van Close. Brakel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's a, a good attempt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Izzy, um, tell me about your role today with NSO in this performance. Um, so I am the set and costume designer for the Travelling Companion and yeah it's my first time with the company but I've done a bit of opera before um, so really excited to be part of it. Excellent and um, have you started on the costumes and the set? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so we're still in um, concept and getting together visuals and drawings and things like that um, but we're sort of I'm finalising those over the next week so that's very exciting so we're almost there with kind of the whole concept of costumes and set and we're going to start encouraging people to bring bits in and then bringing our own bits in and gradually forming this beautiful show out of it. Brilliant have you done some drawings? Uh, not yet it's it's all been quite research based so far Um, there's been some set drawings of kind of potential ways we can use very simple structures to create amazing things um uh but so far with costume it's just been a lot of research and looking at different artists and looking at um the time that we're setting in it in which is 1916 which was when stanford actually wrote the opera rather than where it's actually right. set because it's sort of set in this fairy tale world but we're mm. giving it the sort of basis point of 1916 which is a really interesting year to set mm. it in because you've got influences of the first world war being at home in england and why are these people at home what are they doing how have their world changed over the last couple of years and kind of you know new roles new jobs um and a whole new outlook about their country and their world brilliant in terms of the um, costumes are you going to obviously source some and make some how does it work how do you get what you need for this production yeah it's absolutely it's a it's like a complete I think with this one it's a 50 50 mix um, without giving too much away um, there's sort of some scenes set in a fairly sort of naturalistic world which we're wanting to heighten a little bit so that will be mostly sourced but then we go somewhere completely different that's completely magical and completely mysterious and that's going to be sort of a little bit of sourcing with a lot of making and painting and um coloring in these costumes for um the very large cast <laughs> yes the very large yeah. cast excellent and what costume in particular are you most excited about for this performance Oh, I'm I'm quite excited about um, making the princess's costume because I think the princess has the biggest character development from beginning to end because she starts as sort of a very um, staunchly opinionated person about um, about men and um, why she doesn't want to yeah. marry and mm-hmm. um, it's been something that the director and I've work through a lot and kind of why doesn't she want to get married and those kind of things but it's something that this costume has to follow her story and it has to change and it has to develop as she develops as a character and as she learns and as she teaches others as well about her opinions so that's quite exciting so I think that's that's the one I'm most excited about. Do you know how many costume changes she needs? Um, at the moment I'm thinking that it will be one costume but with additions and things being removed so I'm quite keen on having it as the same base costume Um, sort of like it is a fairy tale so it is based on Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale and in fairy tale stories they don't really ever change their costumes they don't ever change what they're wearing but I think it's just yeah the character to, stays the same yeah the yeah, character so stays it's very the same. evident that it's the same person exactly yeah. exactly so I just want her to sort of have slight changes in what she's wearing so whether something clips up or a jacket gets removed or she adds something on the top something like that so it just sort of the, the costume becomes part of her Brilliant, Izzy. Well, thank you very much for that. And I look forward to interviewing you a bit further down the line when we've got some things to look at. Yeah, thank you. Sure thing. No problem.